Hey fragrance rockers! I got a brand new 2021 release by Mont Blanc. Definitely going to be a killer summer scent. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm talking about Explorer Ultra Blue, so stick around. Okay, welcome to my channel, Kristen Rocks Frags. My name is Kristen, and it is time to talk fragrances. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please be sure to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. So, a brand new 21, 2021 release by Mont Blanc. So a couple years ago, their original Explorer came out, and uh, it's a very nice scent. It's very reminiscent of Aventus by Creed, so definitely an awesome scent profile. And then this year they came out with Ex the Explorer Ultra Blue. And there are actually three noses behind this, so I may butcher their names, I apologize, but here we go. So the first is Jordi Fernandez, Olivier Pichou, Antoine Missandu. So I hope I said those okay. <laughs> but uh, so this comes in three bottle sizes. The one ounce uh, retails for $60. The two ounce retails for $78. And the 3.3 ounce retails for $98. So you got your options there. And let me show you the presentation. So very nice box. I like that cool blue that royal blue ring that it has with the Explore Ultra Blue, of course. You got your information on the bottom there. Some more information on the bottom. And there's nothing on the top. And then that's how the box opens up. So this is EDP concentration. So very nice box, classy but let me show you this really cool bottle. The bottle is so nice, really heavy bottle. This is one of those bottles that you can use as a weapon if you ever get robbed. Hopefully that will not happen, <laughs> but this would be the one to reach for, for sure. This thing's solid, very thick glass, really cool juice color, like a nice blue, definitely going with the ultra blue. And so this looks very much like the Explorer um, bottle, but it has, of course, royal blue band as you can see and it has that cool little star the Mont Blanc tends to have that really nice solid heavy metal cap really nice and the spray is really cool it has the star on there again and then it has the name of the fragrance on there so really cool presentation I really like their their bottles really nice solid high quality and that juice color is just really fun. It definitely portrays what the scent is. So let me read you the notes and then I'll get into the, to the scent more and give my thoughts. So at the top, we have Sicilian uh, bergamot, exotic fruits, and pink pepper. And then at the heart, we have sea notes and ambergris. Ambergris. Base, we have woodsy notes, Indonesian patchouli leaf, and leather. So a somewhat simple note breakdown. So I'm sure if you look at the notes with it, um, you know, between the original Explorer and the Ultra Blue version, you'll see that they're very different. So you don't have to worry about anything being redundant. This is definitely, it's, it does its own thing. Really nice sprayer, nice and wide. So at the top, you, get, you definitely get the really nice crisp bergamot, but I get a lot of the fruits too, because it comes off kind of sweet and juicy and fruity and happy at the top. And then that pink pepper comes in pretty quickly, which I love. I love the spice, that spice in this. I think that really, I think that kind of sets this apart a little bit from a lot of the desires that have been coming out as of late. Um, 
and then as it dries down it does start to become a little bit more aquatic and that ambergris really comes in comes through um, it kind of gives it kind of a salty kind of skin like salty skin kind of smell like you just came out of the you know came out of the water you know at a, at a beautiful beach somewhere and you can still smell that salt on your skin it's really nice I love ambergris and uh, and then dry down of course you have your woody notes and uh, I do get some of the woods as it as it dries down I think that patchouli leaf does come through because you get a slight uh, bit of an earthiness going on but not too much um, I'm not a huge patchouli fan so I'm glad uh, it's not you know too prominent but it just gives the scent some nice backbone and a little bit of depth and I'll be honest I don't really notice the leather so much maybe smelling it up close a little but like the sillage of it I get more of the pink pepper and the ambergris and maybe that fruitiness too and of course the marine notes so I don't really notice the leather so much but I have to say I was very surprised about this scent uh, my husband and I tried it at Macy's uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, I kind of had low expectations expectations you know it's kind of like all right yeah like I feel like a lot of the designer scents kind of you know they kind of smell a lot of them smell the same they have like that crazy ambroxan thing going on so I got worried when I saw you know the name ultra blue I was like oh no not another ambroxan bomb you know I mean it's they're good sometimes but how many can you have right so um so the gentleman was like actually you know you might like this one I was like okay you know so he sprayed it for me you know, the guy working at Macy's and I was like wow this is actually really good so I wore it you know around the malls walked around and I kept coming back to it and I was like I really like that like it had a really nice sillage and everything and like I just kept picking it up as the day went and and I really enjoyed it so I ended up picking this up and uh, they had that sale going on so I jumped on it for sure so I got the the big guy the 3.3 ounce and I'm really enjoying this. I've worn this a couple times because I only just got it two weeks ago. So uh, we went on vacation to Lake George this past week, so that's why I, I didn't get to do a vid last week. Uh, but we had a really great time. It's just the best place to be. Definitely check it out, Lake George, New York, if you haven't been. Gorgeous. And um, so I brought uh, a bag of bottles and uh, I honestly didn't get to wear as many as I thought I would because we're basically living in bathing suits all week <laughs> going out on the boat and stuff like that so um, but I did get to wear this so I was happy about that and I definitely enjoyed it so I really like this it the way it wears is just really pleasant it has a very ozonic and airy feel to it um, like the performance it is kind of big actually like when you first spray it on I do five sprays but even that like it kind of it almost could be a little too much like I like to spray a lot but this performs very well like you could probably get away with two to three sprays actually but uh, you know I, I spray my shirt once or twice and, uh, and that definitely enhances the longevity of course um, but for the first hour or so it projects very well and uh, I think it's definitely one that'll get you noticed um, uh, you know, the, perform the overall performance isn't bad, maybe around the six hour mark, something like that. You know, not bad for a really fresh, crisp, uplifting scent. Um, I have a hard time finding scents in the summer that perform well on my skin. I'm like a walking sponge. So I was really happy that this one did. It has really nice backbone from the woodsy notes and the patchouli, like I mentioned before. Um, but I really like that ambergris. And the way it interacts with the pink pepper and the fruits gives it somewhat of a unique twist. It's not just the typical freshy. Like it definitely does stand on its own. Um, like I said, it kind of reminds me of Percival. Percival by Parfums de Marly. A little bit. I wouldn't say they're they're the same scent, but that ozonic kind of airy feel that that has kind of reminds me of this. I think it has something called hedion in it, which this doesn't have. So I'm not quite sure what gives it that airy thing going on. Maybe the C notes, the way you know it interacts with the pink pepper and ambergris. That those are the big uh, notes that I notice the most. And yeah, maybe some of that patchouli a little bit too. 
but I get a lot of ambergris in this, so I really like that. It has like a saltiness, but it's still very fresh and crisp and airy. Um, and that, that pink pepper gives it a nice balance. It's not just all salt, you know. And I still find it very wearable. Cause, you know, there's some people who don't really like aquatic scents or salty scents, but I don't see how this could offend anyone. I think this could definitely be a great compliment getter. Um, it definitely leans more masculine, but you know, wear what you like and enjoy it. You know, I think we girls can pull it off too. I know I love wearing happy, crisp, aquatic scents in the summer. It just makes you feel so good. So I get more of a casual feel from this, like going out on the boat, going to a barbecue, something like that, hanging out by the pool, having fun with family and friends. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I really could see this being worn in a corporate setting. I don't know if I really get professional out of this. I think this is more fun and casual, like a nice daytime summer daily driver kind, kind of summer scent. So, uh, but overall, I think it's really good. I think it's definitely worth trying. Um, you know, definitely look out for that, you know, 15% off discount uh, for Macy's. Definitely look for that if you're looking to buy a bottle. Um, but if you're looking to try to, to sample it, you know, if you're not looking to commit to, to a full bottle right away, definitely check out our website, perfume.com. We have a wide variety of decant sizes that we offer. So definitely check it out on our website and uh, so you can try it before you buy. So yes, that's my uh, review on the brand new Explore Ultra Blue by Mont Blanc. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day and smelling good. Thank you.